Hello, you how are you? Uganda. My name is Mohin Dombarak and I welcome you to our 12th video of learning how to create web applications using Laravel. I hope you've been part of this journey from the first video. If you have not been following, I really recommend to go and start from the first video. Otherwise, if you're already good with the, where we are already, still you don't need to, uh, to go to the first video. You can take it from here to practice what you know or to learn from what we are teaching. So today we are going to proceed from where we stopped at in the previous video. If you still remember in the previous video, we stopped at the uh, point whereby we are able to create an account and then log in and then uh, log out. So today we're going to take it straight from there and uh, see uh, how we can do different things in uh, Laravel. So let's go straight to the business. Yeah. So I'll begin by opening the project. So you know the project that we always use is called the Laravel News Project. So I'm going to open the project in the Visual Studio Code from here. So I hope you already know how to do this and uh, our project is already opened there. So the next thing, I'm going to start our ZAMP so the database should be serving. So you can see our ZAMP is there, already started. So the next thing I'm going to start uh, serving our project so it can be accessed through the IP. So this is the project. So I'll open the terminal and then I write PHP artisan serve. So it will load. Okay. I don't know why my laptop is slow. All right, it is loading. Uh, all right, our project has already started serving at that endpoint. So if we press control and click on it, it will take us to where our project is. So it is loading there. Uh, forgive me, my laptop is a bit slow today. All right, this is where we are. So we're able to uh, do what to log in. Uh, we, are not, we are able to do what to, uh, to log in someone. I, I think we stopped at login, yeah, we stopped at login. So let me go ahead and put uh, and create an account, then log out, then log in again. So I'll put here my account. Um, let me say admin user is the name, and then the password, the email is admin at gmail.com, and then password will be 4321, password 4321. Then I create the account, you'll see. It will create the account for me successfully, and I'm here at the dashboard. So if I come back to home page, you see this is the home page, and we don't have the link of login, but we have the link of what? Of uh, dashboard and logout. So if I log out here, I'll be able to get the login link. So I'll go ahead and log in, and then put our username and password 4321. I hope that was it. So I try to log in, wrong password. One, two, three, four, uh, wrong password. So I think there's something that is not right here. Uh, maybe the way we are collecting password. So let us go ahead and see uh, the name that we use on the password of, of login. So we'll go to our login.blade.php and then we come to the login section here, the login form, and then we come here. What is the name that we use here? Here, the name is called login email, and the password is uh, login password, okay? So let's go ahead and see if we are doing the same in the what? 
in the route say so we'll come i mean in the in the in, in the on in the controller so we'll come to the routes our web routes and then press control and click on uh, where there is what we're submitting the login here press control and click there okay i think we are doing uh, login where the login post is here so press control and click here will be taken to the method so this is the method so we get the username i mean the login password if it is null we send back the person so here we get the user if the user is not found we send back the person and then here we try to log in the person so oh you see here this is the problem you see i'm saying this user this you and i'm putting login email so it is wrong this you it is just a user does not have a login email you can either use email or you can put here error so this error means the email that is coming from the request so this is the mistake that i was doing and then we use the email that come from what from the or you can as well use here maybe an id since you already have the user and you put your user and then an id something like this it will also work it will also work remember we already have the user here so if you use his id it can work you can use their email you can use their id you can use their username okay and then the second parameter should be what should be the email so after doing that uh, i'll go ahead and uh, retry to log in again username is admin at gmail.com password one two three four try to log in uh wrong password four three two one i think that was the password try to log in dashboard successful so we have successfully logged in as admin i mean as uh, users so uh, i think there we are good now so the next thing is uh we know we can take it from there so we want to create the dashboard uh, ui so we want to create the dashboard side okay so uh, another thing that you should know that uh, you can have in more than one more than one what more than one layouts uh, for your project you can have three or four for example if you see here uh, this is youtube the public youtube uh, and then this is the youtube for the for the managers i mean for the content creators so you'll see that the layouts of youtube for the public are a bit different and the layout for the youtube managers are what i mean content creators are a bit different because you may not need to search when you're creating your content if you want to search you may need to search only within your content something like that so that brings us an idea that when someone is accessing their dashboard they ha you have to give them another kind of feeling or an interface that is not in what in public and give them the features of things that they really need and when you come here to youtube public you see i'm saying different uh, user interface so that is the whole point is um when you when you're creating the the dashboard you may need to give out what another different layout so here what you're going to do for example when i'm logged in i may not even to search for example news so when i'm not log when i'm logged in i mean the whole point here that you're going to learn is that let us we are going to create a second layout for the what for the dashboard or for the logged in users so that's what we'll be using as the layout for the logged in users so to create that one but it's not necessary but it's just a good uh, experience so to do that we are not going to uh to create it from scratch because we already have one for the public so just going to base on the one that we have we duplicate it and then we do what and then we, we we build from that one okay so i'm going to come to our project here and then expand here and then come to the to the tower resources 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 views layouts okay so this is the main layout i'm just going to duplicate it go to shift s okay so i can call this one admin dot blade dot php okay so I can call it admin layout you can call it anything that you do what that you want so this is under the fold of layout so i don't need to add the word what the add the word layout so i can call it admin so this that one will be for the admin you can call it dashboard you can call it anything so now let's create a, a page for what for the for dashboard so another thing you can create uh, layouts for the for 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 admin users or for the logged in users you can create them in a separate for what 
separate folder. For example, let me create another folder where I'm going to put the the the, the, the dashboard layouts, something like that. Dashboard. So here I'm going to be putting the pages of what of logged in users only. So that one will help my project to be organized in a what in a better way. So let's go ahead and do that. So I can uh, base on this home page. You see, I'm just using the same home page. I copy that index file and then I come and paste it here in what? In a dashboard okay, folder, this one. So I can call this one uh, dashboard. Okay, so like this. So I save and uh, so instead of extending the layouts of, uh, of the main layout, I'm going to extend the dashboard, what? I mean the admin what? The admin layout. So when someone is logged in, they are seeing another totally different thing. So after doing that, the next thing is um, we are going to now to 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 do what? We are now going to uh, to add this layout to display this layout. So we'll come to our web routes here, to our web routes here, here this web route, and then uh, this dashboard. Instead of returning this nothing, we can also return it. So we can create another controller. Let us create another controller that will be handling the logged in users. We can call it admin controller. You can call it dashboard controller. So there will put processes that will be handling only the people who are logged in. So I can, uh, uh, let us generate a refresh new controller, right? So you can either duplicate the one that you already have, this one, and use that one, or you can generate another one. So let us create a totally new one for the controller that will have the methods for the logged in users. So I'm going to come to what? I'm going to come to uh, to what? To index. I mean, sorry, to important commands. Important commands. And then, so after, these are the important commands. So I'm going to copy the commands of creating a control IC. Uh, it is here. So that's why I told you that you need those commands to be saving them somewhere so that you don't suffer. Okay, so I'm going to call this one admin controller. We can call it dashboard controller. Let us call it dashboard controller. So this one will be a controller for only people who are low, who have logged in. You can create as many controllers as you want. For example, if your system accepts customers, you can create a special controller for customers. Yeah, like that. So let me go ahead and open my terminal. Go to shift and then tilde button. And then uh, paste there uh, what our link so you can create the controller of dashboard. So when I create there, we'll have our controller has been created successfully. So if I press control and click on it, we'll be able to see our what our controller there here. So this is our what our controller. So the next thing is now we're going to put here our method of what of login, right? So let's go ahead and try to and put that method, okay? So it's going to be public uh, function. I mean, the, the method of, of, of dashboard. Public function, you can call it also its index that when someone comes to the dashboard with its homepage, you can, it will be just showing them this main index. Or you can call it dashboard. You can call it anything that you want. So let me call it index because it's going to be the main, the only index in this side when someone is logged in. Then open them here and maybe can die here. I can call this one dashboard controller, so just for testing. Eh? So after I save. So here, I'm now going to link this one with what? With our dashboard route. So I'll come to our routes here and come here where there is dashboard, this one. So I'll just remove this method, this second method, and put array whereby the first one will take the class, and then the second one will take the what? The function, the name of the function, index. So this is our what? Our login controller what? Login controller class. Make sure it is imported like that one, okay? So if I come and refresh, I click on dashboard, you see, dashboard what? Dashboard controller. So here, instead of displaying dashboard controller, we should return, we should return what? We should return um, uh, the view of dashboard, okay? 
So let's go ahead and return the view of dashboard. So to do that, we'll come here to our dashboard controller. So let us go ahead and return the main view of dashboard of logged in user. So it is going to be return. Uh -huh. So the, the view that we're going to return is this one that we put into dashboard, okay? And then index, good. So it's going to be return, and then we say uh, view, and then we open dashboard. So, so that stands for the uh, folder, this one, and then dot what, dot index, and that stands for the what? For the file, like this. So if I refresh, I should be able to do what? To access uh, my dashboard what? Dashboard index. So we can as well design, so we are here right now, okay? We are here, and this one's extending what? The, so you can as well design even uh, when the, someone is logged in, he should see a different what, a should a different color, something like that. So let us go ahead and put only the important things in what in uh, the dashboard of administrator, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll come here to our to our dashboard, okay? Uh, I mean, I'll come here to our what? To our layouts, this layout, and then come to the dashboard layout. This is the dashboard layout. Sorry, the la layout, layout, and then come this dash admin layout, or what you call dashboard layout, okay? So in that layout, we are going to uh, change this one maybe and call it admin. Okay, so now we are going to remove this. We are going to put this one uh, as main home page. Okay, so this is going to be the, the home. And then instead of putting here news, oh, we can put here maybe website. Website. And then here we're going to put the what? The root of what? Of dashboard. Dash, dash, board. And then here we're going to put the link of dashboard, which is going to be a uh, route and call it dash dashboard like this. Okay, so this one is going to be so this link for the website is not going to be just the the, main, the public website link, okay? And we call it maybe URL, something like this, and then pass empty parameter. Uh, then here about us, for example, if you already logged in as admin, you don't need to know again about us. We don't need this one, okay? Uh -huh. So the logout, we can leave it there. We can just leave there the logout. So since you already logged in, we don't need even check the condition. You just put there the logout there like that. Uh, so the login, we don't need that one. So you see how we're modifying. And then here, this form of search, we also don't need it. Or only we can copy this logout and put it and replace it here in this section of search. Okay, so it can be on that side. So I hope you've seen how I've designed that one. Let me remove this uh, garbage. Okay, so I save, I come and refresh. So our logout, uh, logout is missing something. Is there? Uh, let me see. I think it's supposed to be just. Let us see how our form was. The form was inside what? Uh, the form was just an item without link. So just try to put that one like this. Refresh. Yeah, the logout is there. Only that you may need to change it to a button. So this search button was what? It was having which classes? Eh? This search button was having the class called uh, what? Uh, this search button was having class called just btn, okay, it's btn. So instead of putting this guy as navigation link, okay, we can change even its color, right? We can change its color, text, uh, white, so it should be visible, okay? Like this. Or you can even change it what to button text, uh, btn, btn, S S M B T N uh B T N what? B T N white? I don't know that that's there. I still think it's there. B T N white is not there. So I can say B T N uh danger yeah, like that. So it can match with the color. So when someone wants to log out, you can move there the mouse and then you see log out. All right, uh so here you go to the dashboard, the main dashboard here, you go to the main website. And I click here, I got the main dashboard. Okay, so now here I'm going to put the what? The administrator's controls, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So 
since those controls are going to appear everywhere, just like the way you see here on YouTube, that controls are everywhere. So you better put them in what? In layout. That's why we're going to put maybe the list of all news, okay? <coughs> so let me come here and search bootstrap list. Bootstrap for lists. Okay, so <coughs> let's go ahead and put here our what? Our div and create a class and call it a row and create here a div of, of what? Of class call md uh, call md uh, 4 okay and then here I have a div of class call md what 8 so they can sum up up to 12 so I can come and copy here a list of link you see this is a beautiful list of what of links eh? you see so I can as well copy this guy like this and then come and put them here in this first column okay and then our content this content the content is going to come here, okay? The content is going to come here, and then maybe the title will come here, okay? So if you want also to page to change the page title, you can as well put this one. I don't know whether that's allowed, but you can as well put this one here. I hope it's allowed, but I don't know, okay? So the title and then the content. So I can maybe just put your content like this. Okay, the content will come here. So it means that on the right hand side we'll have the list of links and then this left hand side have a list of what of I mean the content itself. So that's going to be our admin what? Our admin panel. You see? That's beautiful. So let's go ahead and remove this guy. We don't need this. And then we we'll go ahead and put the what? Um, the possible thing that we're going to do. For example, we can put here dashboard. Okay. This link of dashboard is already on top here, so I don't need it. I uh -huh, so can put maybe uh, news, and then you put here, next to it you put uh, news categories, categories, and then we put what next? Uh, uh, yeah, maybe news, news categories, and then create news, <laughs> anything, okay, anything that you want, okay, let's this one be news, uh, I think I see maybe create news news post so much i told you no i'm around right okay so uh after you can mute your microphone so after doing that you can see so you can create a news you can see news post and here are news categories uh -huh. That's beautiful. So instead of having it as, uh, instead of having it as um, rounded table, you can put here rounded zero. So it should not be uh, rounded here at the, at the sides. You see, that's beautiful. Oh, uh, so it means that now if we click here, we're on dashboard, if you click here, we're on the main website. If you click here, we're back on dashboard. And then we have here our, what, our post, and then our content will be coming here. So that is very nice. I hope you can see the yield. The page name here is the same page here. So the yield can work in different fields. So all right, so let's go ahead and now do the real logic. So we're going to begin by, by creating um, news what? News categories, okay? So news categories right so let's go ahead and see how we can create news what news categories yeah so to do that uh, i'm going to create a special page for what for news categories where we list the news categories so let's go ahead and do that so to do that of course we are going to come here to the layouts of dashboard here and then create a, a news categories for the admin right so to do that, I can just simply duplicate this index, since it is the basic one, I can duplicate it and I use it for the news category. So control C, control V. And then rename it as what, as the uh, categories, okay, categories, 
okay? So like this. We can call it admin categories or something. So this is going to be uh, categories. So let's put here maybe the title should be categories and then, then here the content will come here. Content will come. So I come and create the link for this news categories. So I'll come to our web routes here, and then we create the what? The link for news categories. So you can duplicate this one and then put your categories, and then come here and put also categories. So instead of, if you want maybe all the admin, the, 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 the links of dashboard to be stroke dashboard. So you can put your dashboard stroke categories. Okay, so you can be organized in your what? With your links. We can put maybe admin stroke categories, something like that. So dashboard stroke categories, and then we come here. Uh, this will be inside the controller of what? Of dashboard in categories, we call it categories. And let us put the relative name, we call it categories, like that. So after doing that, let's go ahead and create now the method inside the controller for categories. Categories. So I'll go here in the controller, in the controller here, 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 and then duplicate this guy and create the one for what? For categories and return the view of categories. So if I let's go ahead and now put that one in the menu. So to put in the menu, we'll just simply come to our layout of what? Of admin, and then here where there is news categories, here, news categories, here, we just put uh, double code, double curl brackets and call route and then we pass the name of the link that we want to be here, which is admin categories. So if we come here and refresh, uh, everything is nice and then we click on news categories, you see, we should be taken to news categories. Oh, so the reason why it is doing this is because I've not loaded uh, our CSS properly. So if you want to load the CSS properly, you, you either uh, put this one, you either put this one on every CSS link or you define the base URL, okay? So let us come here and search define base URL in HTML head, okay? So they'll show you how you can define the base URL in the HTML head. So this is how you define it, okay? Like this. Uh, so let's go ahead and define the base URL. So we'll come here in the head of our admin layout and define base URL. So our base URL will literally be uh, this local post, local host what? Uh, local host link. So let's go ahead and remove this word target blank and then uh, put there the base URL like this. I hope if you do that, then uh, we will not be able to get our CSS. Fresh. All right, uh, let me see. Uh, let's do the same. I'm in mean this right layout, I think. Yeah, I'm in the right layout. Let's do the same here. Um, it's not pointing. All right. So the, if this one happens, I think. It, it is supposed to be on top, let's try to put on top. Where is it? Here, 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 here. Make it the first refresh. Beautiful. <laughs> wow, so you see, that's uh, how we solve those, that problem. Like when you try to go to stroke something and your files are not loading JavaScript etc, that's how you just define the what? The base URL like this in HTML. So after doing that, let's go do the same here. Yeah. So after doing that, then it means that uh, now everything is what is beautiful. So <coughs> after doing that, so if you click on news categories, yeah, they're on news category. Click on dashboard, you're not on dashboard. So that's a very beautiful navigation, and we can navigate with no pains, and we have achieved with no pain, and achieve that with what with no pain. So now the next thing is you're going to put here. This is where the list of categories will be put, and now we're going to put here the button of creating new item. Okay. So let's go ahead and create that button. So we can create a yield uh, of creating that button and put it here. So something like that. You can create that yield 
okay, so that it can always be on the same line, something like that. So let's go ahead and put here in. Let's let's go ahead and uh, come here to our to our what to our web routes to our what to our web. I mean, sorry, sorry. Let's come to our layouts of dashboard uh, admin here admin layout and then uh, we come to here where there is a title so this title maybe can make it smaller by putting uh, a class of art of h3 and then uh, we put it in a row so you come and say div uh, class row and then put here div uh, class call md maybe 8 uh, or 10 and then here we put a yield for what for create button okay so come here and put uh, div and call it class uh, call md uh, md what md uh, 2 and then here we put the yield of what of create button create button okay so if you have create button we'll be putting it in this yield so let's go ahead and refresh so we have something like that so after doing that so let's go ahead i think let's skip h2 at least okay h1 okay so after doing that so the next thing we are going now to make use of this yield so we'll come here to our categories dot blade dot php uh -huh. so we already have our title there so you can have another section for what for maybe create button this create button so inside there we want to replace that place with what with the create button uh, with the create button okay so i can say button okay so b i mean link which is a tag and then we put so here we need to put stroke dashboard stroke category stroke create so it's going to be stroke dashboard stroke category stroke create something like that or you can as well use this uh routes route or routes route and then you put categories and then you put uh, dot so we are concatenating create okay so that maybe we'll have the create what create link so if i come and refresh here uh this section is not reflecting okay so i've not put the above words okay so i can put here maybe new and make this guy to become a button by simply putting class btn btn maybe success like this so if i come and refresh i'll have my new button there so i can give this btn just maybe some small padding on top empty maybe empty too so it can have some space uh, from that from top like that so new so there we are so i want when someone clicks here it should be taken to the create or the form of creating what the form of creating uh, uh, the layout okay or the what uh, the um, the form of creating uh, uh, the, the, the 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 category so let's go ahead and do that so to do that we'll just simply come and say uh, news category so come here to our routes our routes where are they web routes here and then put um, then put what put categories and then put um, create okay so stroke news category stroke create right and then you create here maybe another method for underscore create so it's going to be the method that will be returning the create uh the create what the create view and then you put here maybe the name we name it as what maybe stroke create dash create something like that okay so after doing that so it means that here in the create link we can use this name instead so if you come here in this create link 
instead of writing it manually, we can use that link here so that in case we update something in future, everything will get updated. All right, uh, so after doing that, so the next thing you're now going to create a what? A method. So this method of uh, categories. So I'll go ahead and create it. So I'll come here and duplicate this. And then, and then uh, we return, return what? Uh, the, the form of creating. Okay, so to return the form, so you can say maybe categories uh, underscore, I mean no categories dash uh, create. That's going to be our form that we're going to use for creating a category. So let's go ahead and uh, come here to what? To our, I mean to our layouts, dashboard, categories, what, 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 here, 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 here. Something like this one, you can use this very one. We just duplicate it. Is it control D? I mean control C. So we rename it. So I can come and copy this name. This name of the layout that we are promising to return here. This name here. We come and copy it. So we have just duplicated here. This one. So I'll come and rename this guy and call it categories create. Okay. So like this. So the title is going to be uh, uh, rename. I would put a uh, notebook blade dot blade. Okay. So it's going to be a uh, new category, new category like this. So after we are going to put there the content. Okay. So our content will come here. So if I come and refresh, when I click on new category, you see, new category and the content is here. So that is so beautiful. So now let us go ahead and start creating our what? Our form. So our form, of course, it's going to look much more like uh, the sign up form. So I can use the sign up form and duplicate and uh, put it here instead. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go to sign up the login page. And then I'm going to copy that login form, the whole of it. And then I'm going to come and paste it here in this content field section. So if I come and refresh, everything should be uh, well and good. So that is okay. So just going to put category, category what? Category title and the category details, that's all. So if we come to our database and we see which names we do use for categories, which fields, so I'll come to our database and so it's going to be here, category name. I can say news category name. So I can put here maybe the name field, give it the name ID, and then come here and put the name, the type to be text, and then come here and put the what? The name. And then put here placeholder, uh, enter, post, I mean category name, and then the ID will be name. Something like that. So here the error will be name. So let's go ahead. Like this. So let's go ahead and refresh. So there we are. So the next thing is going to be now the about the, the category. I hope that's what it did. Um, let's come to our project. We come to categories. We have category and then details. Category, category photo, and details. Okay. So let's go ahead and add category photo and then details. Okay. So let's go ahead and add uh, 
category photo. So here we're going to face how to upload photos. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, the time is up. Uh, we'll short break and then resume from. So we start there in the next lecture where we're going to now implement the layouts and the process that we've done. To do now the creating of the news category itself, uploading the so make sure that you don't miss. Remember, subscribe to my YouTube channel.